This step is going to be the final step in our trilogy of extrusion steps and we're going to be using it to create a detail piece for the table leg. To remove some distractions we're just going to turn off the room geometry. Oh and this tells me that I forgot to do something. So we're going to select our window piece like that. We are going to right click on our room layer and add selected objects and that will just make those be hidden with the room as well. Then what we'll do is create a new cylinder and we're going to name this one table detail. Then what I want to do is take the subdivision axis down to 16. That helps with symmetry for this one. Next I want to just rotate it around so we're going to rotate it 90 degrees that way and we don't want it to be too fat. Something like that should be good to get us started. Okay then that's the beginnings of our shape. Now what we need to do is go into face mode and I want to select the two faces that are kind of at each quarter of it. So the top two, these two on the right hand side, these two on the left hand side and the two on the bottom. That will get us started. Then what we're going to do is do an extrusion, so I'll hit Ctrl and E for that. And I'm going to use the options in here exclusively for this part of the exercise, just to prove that we can. So I'm going to bring up the thickness, like that. So I'm bringing those, those are the three that I'm interested in. And then the bottom two faces, I'm just going to select separately, and I'm going to bring those down on their own. So we'll do that and then I'll just bring the thickness out a little bit. That's kind of nice. Oh, lovely. Make sure we're still in face mode. And we're going to select the four pieces that kind of make up each part here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Like that. And we're going to use that to add a little bit of extra detailing. So control and E to extrude again, and this time we're going to use an offset. Whoa, crazy. So I just want to bring it in a little bit. So 0 0.2, I think is too much. Let's try 0 0.1. <laughs> nice, right? So we've brought those out. That's lovely. And now what we're going to do is these shapes here that we've created kind of like outlines, I want to select these, and these are going to be extruded as well. Remember, you just hold shift and left click to select more than one of any component. So in this case, we did faces. Once you've got them all selected, we're going to extrude again. So I'm just going to come around this side so I can see how far my extrusion is going to go. So we'll extrude and then we're going to change the thickness. So I think in my case, 0 0.1 looks nice. Yours might be um, a different thickness depending on what scale you're working to and what looks good to you. But I'm pretty happy with that, so I'm going to pop it back into object mode and have a look at my handiwork. Yeah, that's kind of nice. Okay, so we need to put that in place. So I'm going to bring back my furniture layer. There it is. You can see that um, things aren't making perfect sense at the moment. So I'm going to need to rotate this 180 degrees. Perfect. And then I want to scale it and just put it so it sits here. So we're going to bring it that way, bring the size down, make sure that it looks like it's protruding from the table leg. That looks kind of nice. And then just try and get it in place. That's going to do it for that step then. What I'm just going to do, just to make it a little bit easier to see for a second, is turn my grid off. And now we've got some really harsher edges showing up in this shape here. And again, just like we did with making it easy to see with the ambient occlusion, we can just make these harsher edges a little nicer to look at by clicking on this icon here, which turns on your multi-sample anti-aliasing, which just kind of hides the jaggies. So if I give that a click, that'll just make the edges look a little bit nicer. 
Not much nicer, it turns out, but a little bit. Okay, that will do it for this step then. In the next step, we're just going to finish the table off. Make sure it's got two legs, put um, maybe another detail piece on. So I'll see you in the next step for that. Game Dev Academy is graciously supported by these absolute legends. If you'd like to offer your support, then check out our Patreon page using the link in the description below.